Hey Sergio, well, uh, how are you doing? Thank you for sending me your video though, I really appreciate it. And uh, it's a really good question. Um, so I was looking at your video and I do have some concerns and uh, some suggestions for you. So one of them was that the uh, footing can be offset. Uh, the general idea is, is there, that yes, it can be offset. But it's more of a question of your engineer or in your, your engineering design. Remember, I, I don't have the specifics on your design. I don't know what the loads are. I don't know how the structure is going to work on your building. I don't know the size of the second floor. So, on general experience, I can tell you, yes, it can be offset. The, the, the footing itself can be offset from where the column is going to be. And that would work. Now, there are a couple of things um, that I was looking at also that I was kind of concerned about. That. One of them is, I don't know how building and safety works in the area that you are. There is usually gui there's guidelines on how far can you build from the property line? I don't know what those are in the area. You know, um, I know, for example, in other countries such as Guatemala, you can build end to end from the property line to the property line. However, in other areas such as California, you have um, you have a separation that you have to maintain between buildings. So that's that's something that really the safety can answer for you. I'm sure you already looked into that, and so it it it, it can be done. You know, once you're following the guidelines of your building and safety. Another thing is, I was noticing that the, the, the soil that you're building, it is very wet, heavy, heavily wet. And it's, I mean, mine because this is a tropical area. So your soils conditions have a lot of organic material. That's the reason why it looks black, has a lot of plasticity on it. Um, you know, has a lot of soil that is, uh, that is expans expandable and you have a lot of water. This is something that I want you, I want to advise you. When you're doing a footing, you want to make sure that you're digging to an area where you have hard soil, okay? So if you look at my videos in foundation, you can see how we were digging, and I believe on the foundations for the retaining wall, I have a video where I found an area where it was wet and we had to remove all the soil and find a hard soil. You, you really want to find the hardest soil that is in the area. What we're looking for is a native soil that is compacted over, you know, over time. It has been undisturbed and it's very hard. That's where you want to add your your footing. Um, that way, you are going to avoid your footing to move when you load it with the second floor and you know create all kinds of structural issues. Uh, you were talking about using number five rivers. Again, that's something that I I can't answer because I just don't know what you're building in the second floor. You know, if, for example, if you were building a column that is 12 inches thick, and in the second floor you're putting, you know, you're putting a shed with a four by four foot shed, it's kind of an overkill. But again, if you're building a second floor that's larger than the first floor, <laughs> I don't know. So I really hope this video helps you. Um, you know, I'm here to help. I really appreciate your video. Good luck with your project. Uh, keep going and please don't forget to send me more pictures. I can't wait to see what you did. Thank you very much, Sergio. Take care. Bye.